A blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Have this. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Not again. Your stench precedes you. Stay away from me! I sense bad energy returning. Stay away! Your stench precedes you. Stay away from me! Sense bad energy returning. Stay away. Hey, buddy! Hello. 
Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! Hello there. Yeah. Howdy. Hey, friend. How's that Hello. Exciting looking? Ma'am? How do you do? Look, let's not be at loggerheads forever. Stay friendly from now on, all right? Don't get up to any mischief in here. Let me just stock up on my supplies. Let's go, girl. Hello. Look at this. Johnny found a bag of gold coins in a ditch of it there. <laughs> Couldn't happen. <laughs> there a reason you're this close. Hello. Welcome. Sorry. That's a nice hide. Let me know how it was. Get in quick, folks, before I eat all these chops eat myself. You're all right, girl. Come on, girl. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? One of these ribs, just watch them grow. Hey there, girl.
Looky here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Yeah, here. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh... Not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? 
Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. Oh. Really do not like you. This is uh, very kind of you. from it. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. 
Why? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. My lord, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. Yeah.
Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? It's a rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. Sorry, Hosea. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. You busy, Arthur? Evening, Mr. Morgan. Evening, Arthur. Hello. Come on now, Pearson. Can I tell you something? Always. I'm frightened, Hosea. Real frightened. Of what? Inkertons, bounty hunters. It all feels... Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you like for saving my life. The liquor situation. is not my friend, Mr. I'm real sorry. I'm a mother. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's the truth, no Arthur. Listen all you want, but it's the truth. I'm afraid. First time in my life. I know, my dear. Come, bustle, well, what are we going to do? Is Dutch a... Good evening, Arthur. How He's already found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. 
Young Miss that dancing school is we don't have a choice but to add this dread to the end of the line. Young Miss that dancing school is part of you. Think of the boy and make plans. When we brought our poor tax to cat head. Wish John was better. When we brought our poor tax to cat head. I care about it. Come Morgan. Bustle, bustle, drink your vows and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest friend, his pack the huntsman cheer. When horn and hounds the forest friend, his pack the huntsman cheer. As loud as we when we send the boy on sight to mount cheer. As loud as Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. We're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. 
coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Gone for ten minutes, I was. You can hardly get all an hour day now, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I will. Please pull out the way. Up. Go guard the shed. Go. You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Check in there first.
Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Howdy. Can I help you with your horse? I got space for you if you need stabling. It sure is fast, but can be a little bit jumpy for some. Bye for now. You and that horse are always welcome. You'll be all right. There, girl. Easy there. Welcome back. Something slip your mind before?
just a scratch. Okay, boy. <laughs> Settle down, boy. <laughs> Trust your gut, folks. Zip right up. Yep. There, boy. Lightning the other night spooked a herd of cattle into a stand. Bad smoke. Broke the fence and waned until they were going to clear. No more raising hell from you this time. You hear me? Those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You good morning. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. Hi. Hi. I'm a 
that stuff in Blackwater. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. We've done that before. <laughs> Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money You're and... You're filthy again, Mr. Morgan. Not now. You should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man covered in shit like this. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Here. <laughs> Some money for your trouble. Well, thank you kindly. <laughs> 